All right, let's do take two here. Somebody decided to shut off my camera. Ugh. So it's uh, August 25th, 2022. So this is the first this is the first sheet of paper I pulled. This is the control piece, right? That it's just the paper pulp, no additional sizing. This piece is the paper pulp, no additional sizing, with the addition of the lichen, which was floated on the surface, right, of the water. And then I pulled the sheet of paper, and then after I couched it, then on the back, I dropped in watercolor dye, which then bled through to the front of the paper, right? Dyed the paper all together. Um, but there's still no additional sizing and it means that the, the lichen is not totally adhered. There's some lichen that is coming off, right? Easily coming off just with touch. So there's that. So I decided today I added additional sizing and I added cornstarch about a cup of cornstarch to, to this, right? So here's the sheet of, of paper I pulled today. Now today the lichen is more integrated in with the pulp and so we see it more um, homogenized, right? It's more dispersed in there. It's not concentrated just on surface. Plus there's sizing in here. And then before I couched it, while it was still dripping on the frame, I dropped the watercolor dye into the front. So it's on the other side here, which is starting to see it bleed through, right? Starting to see it bleed through. And of course, some of it will bleed on onto the towel here beneath it that it's been couched onto. So once this is dry, I'll be able to peel this up and, and, and reveal what the paper actually looks like. And so I'll be glad when I'm done with all of this because this just takes up so much room. And it's in my laundry room, and it's hard to do laundry around this because usually I fold on this table. Um, and it's so messy. I need a total of maybe two more sheets pulled, right? And I can only pull one sheet a day um, because of my setup here. You know, I'm space, space limited here. So one sheet a day here I can pull. And it will be dry by tomorrow. So that's what I got going on here. I got four books. And I think I'm going to be able to get three sh three sheets, cut these into three sheets that will go as as covers, right, up on those books. So if there's three sheets, and I already have two sheets that are usable, that's six sheets. That means I only need to pull one more sheet. But I'll probably pull two more sheets just so I have more options, um, because I might not use that second one that I pulled. So we'll see how this how this one turns out. But. I'm excited. I'm excited. I can feel the sizing. Like there's there's a different kind of slickness, and when I couched it, it stuck a little bit on the uh, on the corners of the decal or of the screen, right? See, with with an actual decal, there's a, a there's a top frame that comes off uh, that removes, and it leaves your edges all nice and crisp, and then you couch, right? But I can't do that with this because it's a screen, right? Anyway. Make and do, make and do, make and do after having things stolen, after having things stolen. This deck, the decal I had, it wasn't a big one, it was just a small one. And I think it cost me like $65. It was a handmade decal. And I bought it after my paper making class. Brody, you okay, buddy? Brody had a fit this morning. I don't know, I, I, I didn't see if there was somebody driving on the driveway or what, but he was, vi there was, there was somebody on the driveway. He was very upset, and he's been really bent out of shape since yesterday, somebody poking around on the property. And he's been very, very protective of me, and now he's rubbing, he's trying to sit on my, on my feet right now. Hi, right, buddy, you're such a good boy. Mom is safe. Mom is safe, buddy, mom is safe. So what are we gonna do, what are we gonna go do now, huh? What are we gonna go do now? We're gonna do some more sewing? You're gonna do some more sewing? I think so. I think that's what we'll go do.